not only can we get small molecules from the ocean and very complex ones um, that have been actually selected for defense and other properties that could be good drugs, but there's other things that are gonna happen in the ocean. Some of these will be uh, genes that we don't have on land and we can actually take those genes and, and take them out of the organism, put them into E. coli and use those to modify chemicals and to do kind of gene editing. We may find new polymerases and stuff that's gonna allow us to do sequencing better. There's, there's a number of those medical applications. There's other products like uh, the corals themselves. The stony corals actually have calcium phosphate. That's what their hard skeleton is. We can actually denude those skeletons. We can take all the proteins off of them and leave that structure and actually use those for bone grafts. So like if you have a tooth extracted and they need to put a bone, what they can do is actually use the coral and, and, and use that. So um, I, I, I can only imagine that there's just not just the small molecules, there's gene products and new proteins that we could use for other industrial processes, but there's going to be other materials that we will get from all of this kind of prospecting. Well, this is the problem, right? We're trying to, um, we need to get leads, and cancer is very, very complicated, and I'm going to give a lot of demonstrations about how complicated it is. Um, but we need all of these leads. So initially we need to find, is there a lead there? If we find the lead and we can actually characterize that and actually chemically characterize that, then we can go back to our orga organic chemists and we can ask them, can you synthesize this? And if they can synthesize this, this is great. All of a sudden we don't have to touch those organisms again and we can leave them. Alternatively, if we can actually pull those genes back out of those organisms, we can fool bacteria to do it. So we can take two approaches, but we have to get that compound first. The diversity is, is critical on, on conservation. If we limit to minuscule numbers of organisms, if we eliminate a lot of organisms, then the fluctuations get very, very wide and broad and we can actually lose things rapidly as, as opposed to if we actually had a very diverse community. Diverse communities are more stable than, than just a single, uh, several species within a community. So we need to preserve those. Um, what we would like to take out of the ocean is hopefully just a small sample and, and be the last time we have to take it out. If we can finish that and we can get the chemical syntheses and we can get those genes out, then we don't have to go back into the ocean. We can leave those things alone and, and that would be the most benefit, not only for, for medical science but also for conservation. We can really envision um, some really interesting um, things happening between the City of Hope and the aquarium. City Hope is a special place. We, we are all translational medicine. Our sole goal is to help patients and to treat them. And we understand that cancer is very complicated. And it's not gonna be one molecule for one cancer, or one molecule for all cancers. In fact, it may not even be two or three for a specific cancer. We need to build up our war chest to be able to help patients. The oceans, on the other hand, have been around for three billion years. Life has been in there for a very, very long time. And they've had the opportunity to devolve all that complexity and to develop molecules that, that we on terrestrial land have, haven't seen. So there's a whole n number of weapons that we can, should be able to get out of that. So our collaboration with the Aquarium of the Pacific and the City of Hope is gonna give us the opportunity to marry not just conservation, and cures, but it'll also take the force of the City of Hope, or the, 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 the predominance of the City of Hope, as a translational institute to actually get these into patients and help them much quicker. The sooner we can help people, the sooner we can actually make people realize that there's something valuable in the ocean, the better the conservation is gonna be and people will realize what a valuable resource the oceans are.